Pasha. So today I want to give you some information about uh, precision tools. Uh. Suppose uh, when we are going to calibrate a liner, so we need to use some precise tool which we can use for calibration of your liner board. So this is the tool that we use to calibrate cylinder liner. This is for uh, generator, this we call it as uh, cylinder bore gauge. So how to use this, how to take a take a measurement, how to calculate the reading, that one I would like to tell you. So, okay, so actually you can see here, yeah, this is your uh, cylinder bore gauge and here you can see the measurement, this is your range. It can measure a cylinder gauge from 175 to 200 mm board. So any liner which is in between this range, we can take the calibration. And each and every knot will measure 0.01. So that means, you can see, yeah? first, this is our entire uh, cylinder bore gauge. And you can see, yeah? this one is your thimble you can turn it you can turn it up huh? you can turn it like this so you can see yeah you can see nah, this one this. you can see two reading over here huh? One is, this is your uh, main scale reading and uh, this is your round scale reading. So you can turn it, uh, you can turn it. So what do you call by uh, 0 0.01? That means, So initially I set to 0, this starts from 175, you can see, 175, you can see this value is 175. So how you have to set to 0, 175, so that means I turn, 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 so you can see, when it comes to 0, the center line should match this 0, this one now the reading is 175 so if I turn one notch I turn one notch and this one notch you call it as 0.01 mm so 1 2 3 4 5 that means 0.05 mm okay so this is your main uh, round scale reading and this will be your main scale reading so once your reading is done, you can tighten this, you can tighten this, that means it is locked. So the reading don't get disturbed. So now uh, I will show how to calculate the reading once you took the reading. Okay. So. Okay. So say, I again take, so I will again take to zero. I will again take to 0 that means here 0 that is you can see now the 175 175 so I turn I am rotating 1 2 3 4 5 so now say it reaches 29 the center line is matching to 29 that means it is means the round scale reading the value is 0 0.29 and your main scale reading it is showing 175 that means 175 plus 0 0.29 that means 175.29 mm 
so this is how you have to calculate the reading eh? so you have to add the main scale reading with your round scale reading i will take one more reading also eh? so you can see eh? now i take two you can see the gap eh? 175 and this is 175.5 176 177 177 177 178 178.5 179 179.5 and 180 this is 180 so if i want to make this 180 to 0 that means this reading is 180 that means the center line is coinciding with 0 here you can see the point 180 so now you can understand uh, 175 175.5 176 6.5 7 7.5 8 8.5 9 9.5 80 so it divides into 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and this divides into 0 0.01 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 okay so i will take a reading one more uh. so i take a reading this is uh, okay, our main scale reading is 180.5. So, if I take any measurement, say, okay, so this is the center line is coinciding with 33. So, plus 33. So, 180.5 plus 0.33. So, 180.5 is your main scale reading and 0.33 is your round scale reading. So, I have to add it 180.5 plus 0.33. So, the value is 180.83 mm. This is your value. So, this is how you have to uh, take reading and calculate your values in a correct way. So always uh, you ensure you know how to use the bore gauge and how to calculate the value. So, I believe this video must have given you some information about uh, using this precision tool, uh, cylinder bore gauge. If you have any doubt, queries put in the comment box. Definitely I will reply you. Thanks for watching.